Well, welcome to your first online physics lab. Um, I hope you and your family are all doing well as you're um, stuck at home, hopefully um, being safe, being smart. So this first lab is going to be all about power and work. And we're going to accomplish that uh, by going out here in just a couple of minutes uh, to the stairwell. And as you climb the stairs, you're exerting energy. You're gaining potential energy as you climb the stairs. So that means you're doing work. And we're going to time, well, time ourselves, or time me, as I climb the stairs so that once we calculate our work, then we can calculate how much power is also being exerted. And then we'll convert that over to horsepower so that we just have some kind of idea, something to compare that to. Now, as you go through and you do this, uh, these calculations, what you're going to do is you are going to insert your own weight into this problem. You can use my times that you're going to see here in just a few minutes. Okay, but you're going to calculate your own numbers. That way everybody's got something different when you're turning all this in. And if you want, feel free. Um, if you got it available, find some stairs at your house or around your house or your workplace. Measure those stairs if you want to use those. You can time yourself running up the stairs as well. Okay, but let me switch over here uh, to the board and kind of explain the math side of this before we go and run the experiment. All right, so let's talk about the math side of here. Again, what we're doing is we're calculating how much work is going to occur as we walk or run or jog up the stairs. So that work's going to equal force times distance, where distance is going to equal the height of the staircase. So what we'll do in just a minute is I'll measure one step count how many steps there are so that we can multiply to get the height of the entire staircase but I'll show you that in just a minute okay this work is going to be measured in joules same unit we use for work or for energy and the key here is your force is that you're carrying yourself up the stairs so that force is going to be your weight but we're going to convert that over to newtons and I'm going to show you an example of that in just a moment but you do have to do some conversions as you're solving uh, this lab and answering some of your questions. So some, and I'll put this on canvas so you can see it there as well. But one pound is equivalent to 4.45 newtons. One meter is 3.281 feet. One food calorie is 4,186 joules. And one horsepower is 746 watts. Uh, the other part of this calculation is we're going to have to calculate power. As we climb the stairs, how much power are we going to exert? And so that power calculation is going to equal work divided by time. And that unit's going to be measured in watts. Now some of your questions are going to ask you to calculate time as well. So if you want to rearrange solve for time, you're going to end up as work divided by power is what you're going to finally have right there. All right, but let me switch over here and show you an example of this calculation. Now this is what I want each of you in your lab report to calculate and insert your own numbers. Don't just use my number right here. But if I take my 180 pounds that I'm about to move up the stairs, convert that to newtons. So multiply by 4.45 newtons per pound. I got 801 newtons here. Okay, and so that's the number I would use over here. Let me go back now as my force. I would take that 801 newtons, I would multiply it times the height of the stairs, that would give me the work that I'm doing each time that I climb the stairs. Alright, so now we've got the math explained. Let's go out, let's get some numbers to work with. Alright, so here we are out in the northwest stairwell and what we need to do is find you know, what is the height of this stairwell. So brought my meter stick over here so we can get down here low and you'll measure one of these uh, steps right here and so as we kind of take this measurement let's just say that's we'll just call it 17 and a half centimeters right here so each step is 0.175 meters and I already counted them, there's 24 steps. So you're going to need to make that um, calculation in your lab report. 24 steps, each step 0.175 
meters. So we want to get the height of the entire you know, staircase right here. All right, so now I'm down here at the bottom. And what we're ready to do is we're ready to time ourselves for trial number one as we climb these stairs right here. So as I begin moving in just a moment, I'm going to hit start. And when I get to the top of the stairs, I'm going to hit stop. And then I will make sure you get that number to work with. All right, so here we go. Ready? Get a halfway decent jog here. All right, so trial number one, 5.53 seconds. All right, so back down to the bottom, we'll do it again. Ready for trial number two, and go. Oh, we got exactly five seconds, 5.00. All right, back to the bottom again. Now we're ready for trial number three, so here we go. Whew, 4.88 seconds. So back in the lab room, I caught my breath here for a minute. So now that you've got those numbers, you got the height of this each stair, you can make this calculation right here to find the height of the entire staircase. You can calculate your work. Okay, so first, you know, convert your weight over to newtons like you saw me do earlier. Multiply that times the distance or times the height. So you got your work then. Okay, record those three times that I just ran for you, or like I said, if you want, you know, feel free, find yourself some stairs, measure their height, you know, record your own three times if you prefer. Right? Once you've got that, then you're ready to calculate your power. Okay? So calculate those three different trials, calculate your average, convert that to horsepower. And so what you're doing, again, there's that conversion, one horsepower equals 746 watts. So whatever your average is, you're just going to end up dividing by 746 to calculate your horsepower over here. And then from there, you can see, like usual, you know, you've got some questions to answer. The first one you're trying to solve for how much time would it take if you had one horsepower, right? Um, and then number two, that's where you're going to need some conversions right there. When you're talking about here, you've got horsepower and feet and pounds. And you're going to have to convert all of those when you go to solve for a time. And then these questions on the back page, page number two, that's when you start getting into the food calorie. And let me just warn you on question number five, that's where more students tend to make a mistake, especially like now when I'm not there to help you. Um, Everything up to number five, you calculate it like you're 100% efficient. Well, you're really not. Nothing can be 100% efficient. So if you're more like 25% efficient when you climb the stairs, think of this. Think of it this way. If you're less efficient, you're going to need more energy. You're wasting energy. And so when you start looking at number five, you're four times less efficient. 25% okay, is four times less efficient than 100%. So really when you get to number five, you need to think of it as you're burning energy four times faster than you thought you were. And then use those answers in five, carry those on over to number six. All right, so I hope that kind of made a little bit of sense hopefully. But if not, you know, feel free, reach out to me. If you got questions, concerns, you're stuck on something, uh, I'm here to help you. So let me help you if you need it. All right, y'all take care, and I will talk to you again soon.